in our next story, we'll see how the Old Girls Association of St. Maria Goretti Girls Grammar School in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, are promoting education for the girl child. The story starts from their alma mater, where they were molded into the women they are today. Take a look. Empower a woman, and you empower a nation. The saying holds true for as many girls that they're allowed to live up to their potential. How are you today? Early in life, students of St. Maria Goretti Girls Grammar School in Benin City are taught to be spiritually, morally, vocationally and academically sound. Like many other schools, girls that pass through here form and nurture lifelong bonds which they grow up to cherish even more. Now, try to pronounce the sound N or M, blocking your nose. <laughs> Products of the school say the all-round education leaves indelible mark on the young minds who evolve into sisters, confidants, mothers and daughters to each other. The biology and chemistry laboratories, a borehole, and a perimeter fence stand as some of the footprints left by former students of the school, known as St. Maria Goretti Old Girls Association. For the past 21 years, members of St. Maria Goretti Girls Association have been holding annual general meetings with the aim of giving back to their alma mater. After a successful meeting in Lagos this year, the old girls are taking some time out to keep the sisterhood strong while having some fun. We are not going to sit down here to talk of uh, any serious business because we have had that this afternoon. So this evening, just sit back and relax. You will be served, you will eat, you will drink, and you will dance. Welcome and God bless you. And fun they had. There's a dance competition bringing back memories of the oldies. There's also a contest of the most creative outfit and the best idea for developing their alma mater. It's hard for old friends to gather without remembering good old memories. I love this sisterhood because, like I say, like I always say, St. Maria Goretti made all the difference in my life. If I did not go to St. Maria Goretti, I wouldn't be standing here. Sister Greta, thank God she's still alive. She's such a committed woman. You are here today because of the foundation, the good foundation what she wanted us to be. Yes, she was strict, but she was loving. She values a lot of values. And anywhere a Goretti girl is, the difference is there. A fundraising is held to expand the reach of the association's scholarship and development efforts in their former school. Every lady that steps their feet into Maria Goretti and is in this room tonight will give us 10,000 Naira each. They've done a lot. First of all, the uh, perimeter fence, they built it, you know, uh, they built the laboratories, and they are giving out scholarships to children on the local and international level. Like last year alone, uh, the international group, that's GOGI, they gave out 25, uh, they gave, uh, 25 students scholarships to Ibnidium University. And they are still working, you know. 
we are even paying uh, teachers on a part-time basis to coach children. We have discovered that many of the indigent students who find it difficult to pay their school fees, with the help of our scholarship, they have been able to go to school. Last, when they were registering for WAEG this year, there was one girl who had dropped out of school because she couldn't pay her WAEG registration fees. So the teachers, the principals from the school now called me and said, when are we giving them their scholarship money? I said, next week, we're trying to send the checks to Benin because I don't live in Benin. So they now gathered money in the school and registered. They went to look for her, she had dropped out of school. They now went to look for her and said they would look for money to register her. When the check comes, they will now put the money back where they got it. So that is how helpful the scholarship has been. The association's goal is to promote education of the girl child. We need to do better. We need to let the girl child know that she's somebody. And I think that will start from primary school. You do come and entrance and you have a certain cutoff for girls, you have for boys. Already you've put that thing in the child's mind. Like you know that boys are a little bit more intelligent. So I think if that is taken away, you know that you go to school with a boy, you have the same advantages. You don't have to have a different or a lower cutoff mark for, for girls. But I think the awareness for the girl child is there. And that's what we are about. Someone give me an S. Someone give me an M. They are passionate about handing down the values that were inculcated in them to the younger generation because they served as essential components of the recipes for their success in their different paths as mothers, career women, leaders and homemakers.